Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about the timeline of French Revolution. Uh, whatever recently I have received, and you must have received the syllabus given by the CBC. And I think only this is the only lesson that you are going to study. I am not sure because whatever the syllabus we have received from the CBC, that only this lesson is there. Uh, and because in political science, history. Geography and economics, almost all the chapters are there. Only this chapter is there in history. So, this chap to understand this chapter, you can see the first date. That is the first one is written that fifth May. On fifth May, that the state the king summoned the state general on fifth May seventeen eighty nine, after the lapse, actually after one hundred seventy five years the. State General, actually here you must be confusing. What is State General meeting? That in State General, for example, you know we have Parliament. In Parliament we have Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha together. So in State General, all the three states they were sitting together. First state, second state, and third state. So for second time after one hundred seventy five years. That on fifth May seventeen hundred eighty nine, State General Meeting was held, and always in this meeting the nobles and clergies were in the majority. That's why whatever they told, they were leading. Try to understand what I am to say. That in the State General, always the nobles and the clergy they were leading. Whatever they were telling, that they they whatever they were saying, people. were accepting or you can say the third state was accepting but now on 5th may 1789 in this meeting the commoners found themselves in majority so this is the difference this is the important point should be noted here that out out of 1200 i have written here out of 1200 600 members were the third state people the commoners So on seventeenth June, on seventeenth June, seventeen eighty nine, that National Assembly was formed by the Third State, and in this National Assembly form, that they minimized the power of monarchy, and the power was given more power to the Legislative Assembly. Maximum powers were taken from the royal family. and on 20th june 1789 the commoners they went to their hall to do meeting but they were denied by the royal army so for when they were denied i mean to say that the common people we are discussing here actually 745 members in the national assembly the 745 members were there they were commoners and this 745 members were denied to sit down to discuss in the hall it, they they had their respective hall of the common commoners in the royal palace so when they were denied to sit down there they they decided to do meeting in nearby tennis court and in that tennis court they dis, they decided to frame a constitution for the kingdom by till then they are they were not going to get separated so they decided they took oath to write down a constitution for the kingdom and on 23rd june 1789 the royal you can say the king louis 16 called the royal session in this royal session first and second and third stood together the meeting was held Or, or or you can say that all first state second state and third state they assembled together and that's why it is called royal session first is written here first second and third state and this when the royal or the king called this session this session itself a was a victory of the common common man or the commoners because almost always the meeting was held separately the nobles were sitting separately the clergies were sitting separately the commoners were sitting separately but now 
the assembly was held together and all of you know just now i told you 745 members were there or out of 200 so because of this majority the commoners decided and on 14 july 1789 there was a jail the name of that was style jail a vessel you can say this jail was stormed the common man they stormed into the jail they destroyed the jail and released the prisoners as well as other freedom fighters so fall of the vessel or vessel jail because the, the, uh, the jail was a symbol of king's despotism and tyranny so when the jail was stormed and destroyed this was the beginning of the french revolution now here the last point you cannot see here you can see here 14 july the fall of west basil jail or basil jail so please remember you can remember if you cannot remember the day date wise otherwise not that much important just for your understanding you must remember and next part we are going to discuss about the democratic rights which we got from the french revolution hello my dear students today we are going to discuss another important point of the french revolution uh, before starting the lesson let me tell you yesterday i mean on 3rd may we received the alternative syllabus from cbsc and uh, i found that only uh, in history only this is this lesson was there is there because in political science economics geography almost all the lessons are there only in history this lesson is there so i'm not sure but i think only this is the one only lesson that you are going to study in this year so without wasting time now let me tell you that what are the democratic rights we have received from the Fran from french revolution uh, if you go around the world almost all the countries they have given the mentioned rights that six rights i have written here that right to equality right to freedom cultural and educational rights right to re religious freedom right against exploitation right to constitutional remedies this in india we have eight fundamental rights besides right to education and uh, right to information this six fundamental rights we have received from the french revolution so you can explain that one by one if the question comes but remember these six fundamental rights or six rights we received or we have received from french revolution and in in our constitution of india it is written and we are following <laughs> 